Hello everyone, my name is Jared, part of the Sweet team. The team that uh, put together a port for iTween for Unreal. And today I'm going to show you how to use iTween inside of Unreal. So you must have, by now, hopefully, downloaded iTween from either the forums or the website. And after you've done that, you should have a package that looks something like this after you've um, unpacked the archive which inside would have the iTween folder and four pictures that should help explain how to use iTween but since you're using this video you're probably not going to need these so what you're going to want to do is copy your iTween folder so that is the folder that says iTween inside of the folder that comes out of the archive after you've unpacked it and you're going to want to copy this into your content folder inside of your projects folder so mine is on uh, E, Unreal Projects, My Project. Uh, yours would be something probably like uh, C, Users, whatever, 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 My Documents, um, Unreal Projects, and then your project name, uh, depending on where you have saved your project. You're going to want to go inside your content and copy the iTween folder directly in there. So when you go back into your editor, you should have an iTween folder that is located directly right there. Now, uh, you need to copy it into your content folder, the root of your content folder. You can't copy it anywhere else to begin with. Uh, you, if you have your plugins separated, or if you want to keep them in a separate area, you cannot copy it directly into that. So say if you had a folder that said plugins or something like that, you cannot copy iTween directly into the plugins folder. You have to copy it directly to the root of your content folder. However, once it's in UE4, you can then drag it wherever you want to. I'm going to drag it into blueprints. I'm going to do move folder here. Yes. And it will copy over all of the iTween assets to whatever folder you need to have it in. And we're just going to wait a second or two for this to load and happen. This shouldn't take too long. A few seconds at most. So how about that show, The Walking Dead, huh? Man, zombies? I've never seen that before. Alright, great. So we have the iTunes folder in here, and it's ready to go. So in order to use this, you can't just open any of these and hope to use them, unfortunately, uh, you have to reference this iTween object inside of some other blueprint. Now, to be able to reference it, you need to have it in your scene somehow. And you can do that one of two ways. You can either drag it directly into your scene, so that way it's in your scene outliner and ready to go. Or you can do it the way I'm going to do it. Just going to delete this out of my scene outliner and you can spawn it with another blueprint. Now, a lot of Unreal developers, at least when they first start, are not very familiar with game modes and how to use those. Um, I'm not going to go in depth on how to use those, but I will use just the game mode in this video. Um, I like to use game mode because it's accessible anywhere else in your project at any time. So, to use that, we're going to have to go to Blueprints, create a new Blueprint. It will be a Game Mode Blueprint. I'm going to call this My Game Mode. And go into our World Settings. Oops. World Settings. And find the Game Mode Override section and choose My Game Mode. So now when we start the game, We can move the camera around just like the regular old um, base game that comes with Unreal when you're using this art of content. So as long as we have a game mode that's being used, we can open up that game mode. And I'm going to create a new variable. I'm going to call it iTween. And it's going to be of type 
itween c, not itween event c, not class itween c, not class itween event c. It has to be object itween c. And then you can drag that bad boy in as a get and as a set. We're going to be setting it. We probably won't be using the get. I just wasted your time. So we're going to do event begin play. And from this, we are going to do a sequence just so we can have more things happen besides just setting iTween. And for the first thing in the sequence, I'm going to spawn actor from class. And the class that I'm going to spawn is, of course, iTween. I'm going to spawn at, oops, my apologies, wrong thing. I'm going to spawn at Zero, zero, zero for everything except for scale, which should be one, one, one. Well, it doesn't really matter what scale it is because this is not an object with a physical presence. And I'm going to spawn even if colliding, even though it has no collider. I just like to be thorough. Then we're going to set this iTween value to the return value of this spawn. And there you go. Now you have iTween in your scene and it's ready to go. Um, so in order to use this, we're going to have to go back to any other blueprint. It doesn't matter what blueprint you use now, because you have it in your game mode. You can reference it from any other blueprint at any time. So let's open up the level blueprint. And we can make a reference to our selected object by selecting it in the scene and then right-clicking and adding a reference to it. This will be the object that we're going to use in a later video to show you how to use some of the transformation properties. Uh, but in order to access iTween, what you're going to have to do is on event begin play. Although this could happen on any event, um, I personally like to use event begin play so that way I always have iTween available to me in that blueprint at any time. Uh, what we're going to do is get game mode and then cast it to the game mode that you're using. So on event begin play, again we'll do a sequence. You don't have to, I just like to so that way I can do other things besides use iTween which is always helpful. And when you have your game mode casted to my game mode or whatever game mode you're using in your scene, you can then drag out from as my game mode C and then get iTween from it. Although it may not work if you haven't compiled. <laughs> there we go. Now I can get iTween. And all of the iTween uh, events are available now. Like move from to, move along spline, move tick, all that stuff, all ready to go. So that is how you set up and use iTween. In later videos, I'm going to show you how to um, make the transformation events actually happen. So thanks for watching.